What's up my good people? This is Elvis Derry and I'm back again with a fresh and brand new episode and today we are joined by Damaris Njenga also known as Queen Dexter. Yes. Queen What's Dexter. up? I'm good, good, good. How are you? I'm so good. Yeah. So like I have so many questions to ask you because I've seen you traveling in Africa. I went to Ethiopia, mm-hmm. our neighbors here in uh, East Africa. Yeah. So how was the experience there and how was the life there? Uh well it was amazing, I have to say. If it was not good, I would not have stayed there for as much as I did. So I did really have a good time. Mm. Yeah. And and what made you decide to go to Ethiopia, not other countries in Africa? Well, I, ha- I have to say I've gone to other countries in Africa, uh, especially in the southern and eastern part of Africa. But Ethiopia, uh, I wanted something different. So I wanted a country I could stay and experience uh, how do I say something that's not a hundred percent like Kenya and some of the other countries I had visited I didn't see that much difference and then Ethiopia gave me that difference that I was looking for yeah others other countries that I was considering would have been something like Djibouti but those have more logistics when it comes to visa issues so that's how Ethiopia became easier to be the country I'm moving into then I loved it there people there allowed me to so it was a great chance to also paint Ethiopia with a good image yeah okay. mm-hmm. and uh, apart from Ethiopia which other countries have you visited in Africa uh, 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 I start with Kenya because I have visited Kenya uh, you are a Kenya. <laughs> but then there are people who are Kenyans but they've never visited their own country. We have visited every place uh, apart from Turkana uh, uh, <laughs> and Lamu. Those are the only two places I've not visited. Um, then there is Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Zimbabwe, mm-hmm, Namibia, Botswana, Djibouti, Somaliland, yeah, Ethiopia. And all those countries, like which which one is your best country that you will want to travel again? I'm sure that I want to travel again if I got a chance, all of them. But then, which one would be big? It would be I, first of all, right now, let's just say I want to visit new countries. That's just my new record right now. But then, still, I want to visit all. I want to go back to Tanzania. I want to redo Zanzibar. Uh, I also want to go to Namibia again. Yeah, let me say those ones for now. But I feel like I'll go back to all countries at some point because I've already like gone back to Tanzania several times. I've gone back to Uganda so many times, Ethiopia uncountable times. I have plans maybe or maybe not to go back to Somaliland. So it's yeah. When you visit the country, it becomes now easier. You see the possibilities of you being able to go back. So I would say I will go back to as many as I can. And I'm sure while uh, you were in, in Ethiopia, you're eating Ethiopian food. Like, uh, would you try to describe the difference between Kenyan and Ethiopian food? Kenyan food is what you would say plain. Ethiopian food is tasty. Like, how do I say it? Like, for example, have you ever tried food without salt? That is, uh, I'm sorry, Kenyans, but then that is what Ethiopian Kenyan food can taste like if you're used to more spicy food. So Ethiopian food has like flavor. Oh, that's the word. It has more flavor compared to Kenyan food. Yeah, I still like Kenyan food, but then Ethiopian food is more tasty according to me. Mm-hmm. And how was the language barrier in Ethiopia? It was there, but then I started learning enough words to get me around. And then uh, also using words, using Google Translator, using guides if I have, using friends. So like there's hacks to go around with the whole language barrier thing. But I have to tell you, it's going to be there. The official language is Amharic. So everyone is speaking Amharic. Even my friends, I speak Amharic. Uh, But then when they want to address you, that's when they'll speak to you in English. Yeah. In school, they are taught in Amharic. So, yeah. And I believe while you are in Ethiopia, like you try to learn a few Amharic words. Would you tell us uh, those words and tell us the meaning? <laughs> Why are you putting me on the spot? Okay. <laughs> Ishi means okay. That's a very important word to know. Ishi. Uh, Amasagnalo is thank you. Uh, salam is hi. Dena Neng is how are you doing. Dena Deru is good night. Uh, sent now is how much he sub is asking for the bill and let like one two can count numbers 
and then what else hmm inkulal is egg wetet is milk so yeah that's enough for today i mean i've seen like you've learned a lot of uh, and i believe like if you say there more like you learn even more you know like you're, you're speaking like a local <laughs> <laughs> that's true well the thing is i i feel like i'm going to lose this but i used to be able to understand when people are talking mm. even if i can't speak back in amharic but i feel like because of being away then i'm going to start losing it a, losing it a little but then he should share a video that we did with him we went to an ethiopian restaurant and uh, down there i like in this restaurant when they started asking for food in like amharic i was able to understand what they are talking so it's not yet gone but i'm afraid it's going to disappear but pray for me <laughs> yeah and what is that one thing you really loved about ethiopia or a place you visited in ethiopia that you really liked so much okay a place that was life transforming for me was in Oh god how do i say a place was tra- life transforming then i forget the name Bale mountains so we hiked for some days and being able to see how some people live life it just gives you reason to be grateful for the life that you are living because for example the place that we were staying for you to be able to go shop like soko what we call soko market to go to the market you leave the house like at 8 a.m. you're going to arrive there at like midday and then now you do your shopping and then you come back home so that day basically what did you do went to the market so and here i'm just spoiled with convenience and stuff like this i'm like ordering in and stuff like this so it just made me appreciate life and the place that life is and also seeing just the sana i love about ethiopia i feel humanity there as much as it can be different because a lot is going on in the country but in relation to how i was treated as a person how i was accepted as a person was really amazing and one thing i continue to pray for ethiopia is that there can be unity and this whole idea so when i stand here and say i felt humanity humanity someone is not being like hey but then there is this going on but yeah but that doesn't mean like it can take away from my experience yeah. So as a travel like uh, security is more important while traveling. So how was the security there and the safety in Ethiopia? For me it was safe. I can't say I experienced anything that well I had incidences where people would be like you're going here don't go uh, it's not going to be safe. Like for example I know right now currently there are, there is a discouragement for people for to visit like the Amhara region things like this. But then on my time when I was there everything was okay or oh, i never went to a place and i was told okay you can't go here you can't go there i was safe as a person yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, before you forget uh, we saw you dating an ethiopian mm-hmm. so how how was uh, the relationship dating an ethiopian as a kenyan uh, well uh okay i'm glad you used the word dating cuz okay we can say yes <laughs> to dating <laughs> But I like to clarify that it never transpired to a full on relationship. But it was it was nice, it was interesting. People were keen to see where it leads, so I was also happy to see where this drama ends up in or well, like this that situation goes to. Yeah, uh his the person was a good person as a person that I can never take away from them. And it was amazing. I had good experience, yeah. And I stayed in Hawasa for some time as well, so amazing amazing so i like are you dating right now yes no i'm not dating actually <laughs> i <laughs> i'm engaged i'm done dating <laughs> so you've moved on to the next level <laughs> exactly uh. yes i've moved i've moved on from now not dating mm-hmm. into a relationship and now into engagement looking forward to getting married yeah okay so before we end this video uh, there's so many people who would love to visit ethiopia what advice could you give them or what can you tell them Okay, one advice I would tell them make sure you eat. Be- <laughs> it's, it's a very funny advice, but then I've seen many people going through when you're visiting Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a country you have to go with an open mind, so you're able to like overcome whatever other hassles you could be having, for example, like language barrier that is it's it's that's how the country operates. They speak in their own language, but if you are hungry and you're experiencing what we call hungry the aspect of being hungry because of hunger 
Mm. When someone now then speaks to you in a language that you don't understand, you get more irritated. So that's why for me, the aspect of make sure you your energies are always like at a good level is is important. Also, because I've seen some people going to Ethiopia affected by altitude, stuff like this. So it gets worse if you're hungry. And then also that could mean maybe you don't even like the food, stuff like this. But then my concept is you have to go to Ethiopia with an open mind. Yeah, you can't go expecting a Kenya. In, you, you can't go expecting your country in Ethiopia, which should be the rule of travel, regardless of whatever country you're going to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Amazing. So uh, right now we, we are in Kenya filming this video. And uh, which country are you planning to visit next? Well... I've seated here waiting to see where I'll be taken to honeymoon. I'm joking, but then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. I have so many countries on my list. Mm. I don't know. For the At the moment, I'm still in Kenya. Mm. Yeah, at the moment, I'm still in Kenya. So I'm going to be... I'm looking into exploring a little bit more of Kenya. I'm not sure what country, but I have ideas. Okay. South Africa is high on my list. Mm. South Sudan is high on my list. Mm. Uh, I still, I really, I really want to visit as many African countries as I can, if not all. Yeah, so that's what's cooking. That's what's going on. But then also, you guys stick around for maybe a surprise will come and we'll see. Maybe we went to a whole different place like Asia, the Caribbean. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much for your time, uh, Queen oh. Desta. Uh, guys, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to p- uh, be putting her links in the description down below. In the description down below. So make sure you go and subscribe and support our sister, our Kenyan sister, Queen Desta. See you guys in the, ne- in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye.